you. <laughs> yeah, wow, it's been ages, really. Yes. <laughs> wow, we are recording. Wonderful. Thank you, Samantha. Awesome. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome forward. Welcome to something different, something new. And I truly wonder how much fun we can have today and what we can create together. And what do we already know? So welcome, I'm Chandana and Chandana Baba from Delhi, Certified Facilitator of Access Consciousness. And today we are talking about change of tracks. I was wondering today, I was speaking with Samantha in the morning and I said, what is a topic that would really, you know, that's fun for everyone and, you know, that could contribute to all of us together. And we went through a few topics and everything was like, like literally, ah, like just, ah. And it was change of tracks. I was like, oh man, that's the one. Let's just fly with it. Literally, let's just go, you know, and that's that's the energy of the change of tracks that we are on right now it's like boom gone fly and what we're still trying to do is slow down we're still trying to get it the right way we're still trying to connect to the past no. that well doesn't even exist now hello zeal thank you my wonderful beautiful lady so how many of you have recognized it's going to be six months, guys, six months since we have been indoors, <laughs> locked in our homes, supposed to be a lockdown. But how many of you are really depressed and miserable being locked down? And how many of you are really happy, bored? Okay, cool. What else? What is it? What else is it with everybody? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you angry? Are you happy. sad? Happy. Cool. Happy. What else? And enjoying. Zeal says enjoying. Yeah. Happy, right? Is that is that almost like where everybody is? And there are moments where you are not so happy, which is perfectly fine and perfectly. Oops, um, can I have everyone on mute, please? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So. Yeah. So realities seem to have changed. Lives seem to have changed. People seem to have changed. Relationships seem to have changed. You seem to have changed. Right? Have you acknowledged that change? You muted me, Sam. Sam! <laughs> cool. What else is possible? We're having fun with it. Change of tracks. We're just having fun, babe. All right. Yeah. So. So, do you recognize the change of tracks? That is frustration at not moving forward. So, Nana. Okay. Cool. Thank you for that one. Yeah. That's another energy. That's another energy. That's. It's really big in our worlds right now, and I really, really want to talk about. All these energies that are showing up in our lives, the happy, the, the manic, the joy, the joy that's almost bordering on manic. And then the joy that's, that kind of just, you just kind of lose the joy and it's kind of gone. It's lost. Where did it go? Can I have my joy back, please? It's kind of gone somewhere. And you almost go around looking for that joy of where did it go? And that's the shift. That's that's a huge change. When we talk of change of tracks, we really want to we really want to look at that joy, that happy, that manic, that depressed, that all of those as energies that are now available to you, that are available for you every moment that you be without really being at the effect of them, but choosing if you so choose. Yeah, so Sanana says, I feel someone stole my happy. Okay, so that's, yeah, cool. 
Thank you for that. So I want to, before we go on to talking about the change of tracks, I just want, want, would like you all to recognize we were all moving at a very fast pace before the lockdown. And when I say fast pace, I mean we were doing a lot, right? We were traveling a lot, we were facilitating a lot, we were meeting a lot of people, we were stepping out, we were driving, we were going to the shops, going to the markets, going to the malls, meeting for lunches, meeting for our kitties, meeting for our dinners, and, and working, and doing it all, and doing it all, and doing it all, never stopping, pausing, and asking, what am I choosing? What if that is a change of tracks? What if that is a change of tracks? For you to recognize this space that's been created for you, which seems like so empty sometimes, so new sometimes, that you don't, it's almost like you want to fill it up with something so you finally feel yourself. What if instead of that, you can just be with that space? And when I just say be, you know, we've been using this word so much in access about being that sometimes it's like, I don't get what you damn mean when you say being, but really like, it's like when, if, what if you could just allow yourself to relax into that energy without fighting it, without trying to, without the need to understand it, without the need to know what is going to happen tomorrow. How am I going to do this day after tomorrow? But I had to do this six months back. What's going to happen now? I mean, I have friends whose kids were to get married in December. And they're like, I don't know what to do. What to do. One of them, one of them had booked a wedding in Greece. And we were like, wow, excited. You're going to go to Greece for a wedding. Now there's no wedding. Like, hello. She just may go to the court and just sign and have a, have a court marriage. But that's, that's the level of shift that's shown up, guys. It's huge. It's huge change. It's change that we cannot understand, we cannot fathom. And if you try to go into the energy of trying to understand it or fathom it or just trying to get, even just let me just get that 1% of it so I can now sort everything out for myself, you're not going to be able to do that. And that's where you're going to get stuck in it by finding yourself in conflict with it. And this is, what, this is the energy of where we find ourselves getting sucked into the energy, getting, getting depressed, getting unhappy, getting, uh, getting like, like Sunana said, where did my happy go? Finding that space where you don't know what to do with it. Because it seems to be having control over you instead of you having choice with it. Any of you feeling like that right now? Or felt like that a few days yes. past? Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I feel I'm stuck. Yes. Uncomfortable. Oh, stuck. My recovery is stopped. I was like flying high with you. And then I'm stuck. I want to come back to you. It feels like that. But I can't. Yeah. When you say I want to come back to you and I can't. Is that the yeah. truth? I mean, or it yes. Yes, okay. I okay. want to again, you know, on that aeroplane mode, when I'm recovering, recovering, recovering. <laughs> that. Okay, Shivani, I thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that ask. And thank you for that vulnerability of work. I'm banging against the wall. I was changing. I was shifting and now yes. I'm stuck. Yeah. Now that energy, that energy, is that receiving it or is that fighting it? Fighting. Yeah. So what are you fighting, honey? I don't know, but I'm fighting something. <laughs> are you, are you, what, what is that something? I can't describe. Is I know you'll ask me 10,000 rupees for it. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll ask you 10,000 rupees every time you say, I don't yeah. know. Absolutely. You know my rule, babe. 10,000 rupees each time you say you don't know, which is why you've been flying. <laughs> <laughs> if it's still, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's look at that energy, okay? You've been flying, you've been flying, and now you suddenly feel like you're stuck. Yeah. You can't move, you can't do it because your body was changing, your, you, were, you were choosing, you were shifting. Yeah. And now you feel like, Nothing's changing. Mm. 
Is that true or is it not changing the way you decided it should change? It is changing a lot. Yeah. It yeah. is changing only we are, instead of fighting, if we receive this energy at this time and uh, just be happy at what we are getting right. I know we are going to have a boom and a big change. Yeah, it is which will, already. Which will okay. give me something more and more and more. And yeah, and Hindu, this is the one. It's already a big change. You've got to acknowledge yes. that. Let's yes. Not, let's not look for the big change. Let's not think that after the lockdown is over, then the big change will come. No, the and change Shivani, is right now. That's where, yeah, and Shivani, that's what I really would like you to get, honey. The big change has already, is, is here. It's here, okay. it's here, it's your reality right now, the big change that you have been asking for, that I have been asking for, we all have been asking for. It's here, now. But are you acknowledging it? Or are you fighting it because it didn't show up the way you thought it would? Fighting. Uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. And uh, when you fight, the yeah. Rat race is over. Yeah. I know Hindu. So true. So true. Everybody is walking at, walking at their own pace where they feel comfortable. But the rat race which was going on for happiness, not for joy. Joy and happiness are two different things. We know that. We were all running after happiness, not for joy. But now I'm getting that joy with this change. Awesome. Wonderful. What else is truly And possible? I know you are the source of Oh. <laughs> yes. Honey, you are the source of your creations. You all have to acknowledge that. And that is, that is what I want to take you all to. Acknowledgement of the change. Acknowledgement of what has shown up in your lives. And thank you, Indu, if I did not kind of receive that. Like I said, I'm learning to receive. After my class with Pur with um, I read Purva's name just now, I'm like it's Purva. Hi Purva. <laughs> Susanna. Hi, hi. Hi Susanna. After the I one know the class, class was yeah, wasn't it amazing? With Susanna. It was mind blowing out of words. And what I've actually got out of that class has been to to receive, to receive the acknowledgement, to receive the gratitude. Because when we are not willing to receive and acknowledge the change and the gratitude, we cannot be that for others or for ourselves. So what are you not willing to acknowledge about you and about this change that if you acknowledge it, could have you receiving the ease of the change? And everything that doesn't allow that. Would you destroy and uncreate that, please? Hi, Trang. Good back. Pot park. Online shots, boys and beyonds. So when you acknowledge the change, you're also acknowledging that the past doesn't exist. How many of you have acknowledged that the past no longer exists? Or are we still looking how we were in the past to know how we can be in the future. If you're trying to create a reality that doesn't, if you're trying to create a new reality, and I'm using the word trying here, but if you're trying to create a new reality based on something that doesn't exist, are you going to be able to create that? No. No, you're not going to be able to create that. And that is where comes the conflict. That is where comes a fight of but why can't I do it? Because I always did it. I did it. So in true. So mm -hmm. true. <laughs> yeah. So darling, what if, what if honey, you could give up that fight? What if you could just, what if you could just allow yourself to not be in conflict, which is so not this, not the past reality because the reality that we knew existed on conflict. In fact, it's been a conflictual reality in every way. In fact, something that's really interesting that Susanna shared with us is that 
the reality that we had, even this reality today, is kind of a bipolar reality. Yes. The good, the bad, the terrible, the great. And we try to understand that. And in trying to understand that reality, you get sucked into the bipolarity of it. So how many of you are stuck in the bipolarity of your past and the now? Not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do with it, feeling stuck. What if that, Yacharu, and what if that is the biggest lie that you bought? With the simple need to understand what's happening. Everywhere that you've been operating from, oh, I love all the needs, oh, all the me's, me, 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 oh my God, okay, cool. What if we can all change that for each other and for everybody here? Hi, Trump, good, bad, pot, pot, online shots, boys and beyonds. Yeah, so what, what if you could know, what if you allowed yourself to no longer be in conflict with the past and the now, with the need to understand it? Could you trust? Could you Trust what is showing up. Could you trust that? Just for 24 hours, could you trust it? Just for these, for the next 24 hours till 7.30 tomorrow evening. Okay, let's say 8.30 tomorrow evening. Are you willing to trust the universe, to trust the planet, and to trust yourself? It's not too much, just 24 hours. Yes. Trusting self is uncomfortable. Trusting universe and everything is fine. Trusting self is a little uncomfortable. Yeah. So, well, what is that uncomfortable? Is that the first time you'd be trusting you, which is why it's uncomfortable? And is the old way be being no trust with you comfortable? And is the new way of trusting you uncomfortable? New way of trusting myself uncomfortable. Yeah. So what if it is a change of tracks? What if that is what we are stepping into, the new way? Are you willing to be uncomfortable? It's some, something beautiful, really beautiful that Simone said the other day. I mean, I just loved it. She was like, guys, we don't need to, we don't need to start to just fly. It's okay. It's okay. Start to walk. Start to run. You will fly. These, this change of track is new for many of us. If you're going to fight it, you're going to find yourself stagnant. If you're going to allow yourself to be it, to just, to just literally put your barriers down, to relax into it, to breathe, and relax even more, to not fight it and to not avoid it, and to just trust it. Just that. What if that's what's required for you to have ease with the change? Change of tracks is oftentimes like, you know, it's, it's sometimes like, I don't know, I've never driven in the hills. I've always driven on the Delhi roads only. You're taking me to drive up the Himalayas into Leh, which I've never driven. So I need a professional driver who can drive me into the hills of Leh. That's what we all think, right? Because it's change of tracks. I don't know how to do it. I need someone professional who can drive me. How many of you are looking for that professional to drive you on the change of tracks? Have you already given up on yourselves? Because you've decided you don't know how to do that. So true. Everything that brought up, could you all destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good, bad, but park, online shots, poison beyonds. What if you know? What if you always knew how to drive in the hills of Leh? You just never dared go on it. You just never dared to go have fun with it. What if now you are literally 
left in the middle of the hills of Leh with a car, with a driver, with a full tank. No reason, no justification not to drive. Just a choice. Would you switch on the engine and press on the accelerator or would you sit there for the next few hours and days waiting for a professional driver to show up? What would you do? Anybody? Drive. Start driving. Start driving. Anybody else? Yeah, driving is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goo. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Driving is a good idea. Maybe I just don't have a choice, so I'll drive everywhere. So, Jamna, and... for me, it came as fucking move. <laughs> yeah, babe. Absolutely, Rina. Absolutely. That's the one. I'm not going to sit here till it's, till it's dark. And I don't know. What if, what if the lions and tigers and zebras and whatever, the alligators come out? What then? I as well as drive. What if that is what it is today? So that? for me, Chandra, if I may just yeah. say something, you know, yeah, like please, you said, if you're up there, what will you do? I will drive. Now the problem is, I, as you asked, you know, I trust myself, but I don't, I don't make the movement. I'm frozen. And I look at myself from inside and from outside and I just go into the question, why am I frozen? But this awareness is where uh, I'm at a loss. I just go into like blank. You know, so Nana, I know I'm yeah. So Nana, I love what you said. And, I've, and that's the bipolarity of this reality that we were talking about earlier. Where you are, where you are, say for instance, you are in a space or where, wow, I can create so much. I, have, I mean, it's like, it's totally different. I can choose to be happy. I can choose to be creative. I can choose to destroy myself. I can choose to be miserable. And then you look at the past to just know, uh, okay, if I'm choosing more or if I'm choosing greater, how much can I move from here? When you go into the measuring of what you can do, when you go into trying to understand, like you said, why, when you go into that, that why, whenever you go into a why, you're looking for the reason and justification why you're not choosing something instead of knowing that you can just choose. And I, for the longest of time, did not get, get, just choose, just choose, just choose. I was like, what the shit? Do these access people go around saying, just choose, just choose, just choose? Are they nuts? Like, what the hell? Don't you see I'm choosing? And it's not happening? I mean, that, it used to, I've, I've been there too. I've been there. And that's, Thanks for telling us that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, you didn't see me six years back. Trust me. But I, I, I don't want to say, I want to show you what I was. Well, too bad, too late. You won't get to see that now. <laughs> but what I was six years ago was in constant conflict with myself. I was in conflict with the choices that I had available. Because for me too, like Sonena said, for me too, I was constantly looking. I was constantly looking for why. If I only understand why, I'll make a different choice. Once I can understand why. Yeah. How do you get yourself Hi, out of these woods? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. So there's like too many things are going on and obviously want to be on each and every one of them. Yeah. Then you just like, how do you get yourself out of these woods and like, again, there's nothing right and wrong, but it's just like, again, choosing. But I got like so much to choose and in the end, it's mind boggling. So like, yeah, you get on none of the train and you just spend there. Yeah, that one, that one, right? How do we do it? The how, the why, and the when is the past reality. And you really want to get this, guys. The how, the why, and the when is the past reality. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. The how will always take you to the reference points of the past, to the past. The when will always, always maintain time as a construct. Have any of you noticed how different you are with time now? 
your eating habits are random, your sleeping habits are random. I mean, and it's not just you, your kids or your everybody, your parents. My mom called me the other day and she said, I've been up till three o'clock in the morning. I've never done that. I can't sleep. I'm like, well, my mom, welcome to the new tracks, change of tracks. So how, why, and when is the past? How is all the time trying to understand how you would move forward that has it slowing you down instead of just choosing to move forward? What if, what if the new way was just to ask, just to ask, just to put your barriers down, just to relax into it and just see. And yes, another one I would like to add here. Ask, say yes to your ask. Instill gratitude to the universe for already getting to work for you. Relax into it. And now you see. What if that is the perfect recipe for this change of tracks? Yay, we got a new recipe to create. <laughs> Did anybody write down the magical recipe? I Don't didn't hear it, it actually. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, what if that is a new way? Truly, and I'm, guys, I've done this. I've really been playing with this. I've, and it's been absolutely phenomenal. I've been, you are going to be different with your bodies. You're going to be different with your creations. You're going to be different with money flows. You're going to be different with relationships. You're going to be different with everything, with everything. And a great question to ask is, what different way do I have with Dash? What new way do I have with Dash? What new ask can I be with Dash? You're trying to change your body. You're trying to create something with your body that doesn't work for you or you have the pains or you have, the, you have intensity or you're, you're fighting weight problem or whatever you're fighting. Ask what different way is possible now with my body. Everything's different. You've got to start to learn what different way is possible instead of run back to what was the old method. You're asking what different way is possible with my body? What different way is possible with money? What different way is possible with my creations, with my kids, with parenting, with whatever? And then just leaving it at that. Show me universe. That's where comes the ask. And after you say the ask, say yes, universe, thank you, I'll receive it. Thank you. Gratitude, thank you. And then are you willing to let go the tree that holds you on to the past? Thank you, Mansi, for writing that, darling. Letting go of the tree that held you to the past always. When? When, how, why? When, how, why? Throw it out of the window. Every time you ask when, how, why, Recognize you are, you are again connecting to the past. So what conflict are you creating with yourselves by connecting to the past that no longer exists? Everything that brought up, would you all destroy and uncreate that please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys and beyonds. And then be used for future. Ah, can when be used for the future? That's a great question, Zeal. How I would really look at it, honey, is if you're looking at it as time, no, no, don't, I wouldn't use the when. I would like to ask what future can this choice of mine create. 
or generative choice can I institute into my reality? Into what generative choice can I institute into the future? What generative energy can I be here that can create the future I'm asking to create? Are you willing to be so out of control and so different, so different that everything that shows up is greater than you what you thought would be possible? Are you willing to have that space? Are you willing to have that, that wonder in your life? That wonder with every question, with every moment of your being? Or would you rather go into the past and say, but that worked and now I'm trying to work it the same way and it doesn't work. I'm just looking for that one person who can show me and tell me how to do it. You see where we do that? I just want to know how to do this. That how is you going to the past. I just want to know when this thing is going to finish. That when is again being stuck in the past. What different way of being is possible, guys? Which is so different, which is so undefined, so undefined. So undefined. That, yeah, you get butterflies in your stomach. Yes, you, you probably wake up in the middle of the night and say, oh my God, what? What is that? What's going to show up? And then you're like, oh, that's light. Whatever it shows, whatever it shows up. And then going back to bed, knowing that the universe is at work. Aditha, yes, darling, absolutely. Throw out when, how, why. If you're willing, I have really been playing with this and I've really, every time I catch myself asking when, why, how, I know I'm going to be in conflict with myself because there is no when, how, why. There is no when, how, why, especially in the change of tracks. There's just an ask. There's the willingness to say yes to your ask. There's a willingness to be the gratitude to the universe constantly and to yourself and to every person around you, to every element of consciousness around you that's contributing to you, to the brilliance of you and to the future. And from the gratitude, melting into, relaxing into the new reality without the need to have a fight with it. And this, this friends, and I really want to bring this to you all. This is the space of actualization, instant actualization. This is the space. And you will find yourself still going into the when and the how and the why. You will still, I mean, come on, we've done that all. We've done, we've, that's all we've known. The when, how, why. Only if I have a reason, I'll do it. Only if I know why you did it, I'll forgive you. Only if I know how to do it, I'll be right. You know, we've, we've trained ourselves that way. So be kind to yourselves. Be kind. Don't be, don't, don't be harsh on yourselves. Don't force yourself into this. Don't force yourselves. Don't force yourselves to, to, be, to be the difference. Do not force yourselves to be the difference. Embrace the difference. When you're willing to embrace the difference. Chandra? Yes, my love. Uh, do you know what? Oh. Yeah, I'm Dr. Deepthi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, you know what? When you're seeing this, now I'm having some numbness. As if I don't have my body now. And this happens a lot of time. Though I'm very wicked, I love my wickedness. And, uh, I'm a wicked woman. <laughs> I have done a lot of wicked stuff in my uh, reality at this moment during lockdown and I'm enjoying it, really enjoying it. But at times we face this when we are in question, we have many a things coming up and at times we are like, I'm like numb. I don't re know what to do. I'm stuck over that. Is that, that point is, your, is your body numb? Yeah. Truth, is it numb? 
it's very different yeah it's numbness only that that is very different yeah is that numbness your unwillingness to receive from the difference that it is now is that yeah. what you're creating in your body so you don't have to receive the difference yeah. Like yeah, exactly. Back. And I'm sure it's the answer. Thank you for that, Dipti. How many of us are doing exactly that with our relationships, with our money flows, with our business, with our, with our kids, with our parents, with whatever? We're creating a sense of numbness. So we don't Chana, have to... I also have numbness in the soles of my feet. Yeah. So guys, what is that numbness? Is that, the, is that what you're choosing? So you do not have to acknowledge the difference that your body is, the difference that your relationships are, the difference that your business is today. Would you still need to be numb? Or could you just relax into it? Yasunana, yeah, resistance. The resistance is what has you maintaining the conflict because if there is no resistance, if there is no avoidance, the, av the energy of avoiding, the energy of resisting, that is the energy that does not allow you to just relax into it. And when I say relax into it, I really mean relax. Like put your barriers down. Like literally put your barriers down. And ask your body, hey, what would you like to do? Literally be present with it. Be present with what your body is asking for. Be present with what your home is asking for. Be present with what your kids are asking for, your family, your parents, your, your business is asking for. What is it? What is it? What is that that you're not willing to receive? You're not willing to hear. You're not willing to be communicated about. That if you didn't avoid it. And then I can add something. Could melt. Yes, darling. And that could melt the numbness. Yeah, Mansi. Uh, yeah, like in this lockdown, the numbness and the avoidance, like I was asking questions around it and a lot yeah. of time. I got this awareness that it's also our bodies asking for something different. It yes. may be a particular food or a movement or yeah. something else or just be present with what is happening. So when Absolutely. we are not present to that, what our body is speaking at that moment, yes. we tap into other people's things and we just shut, shut it down. So we are not receiving any information as if. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, yeah it's a it's a very punk energy and yet it is so yeah. funny to see that when the body is 100 percent active all the time giving information we are concluding it with the situation what is the outside yes the absolutely. body doesn't have a situation at all it is yeah. the situation outside and if we are present to the body we can never be bored and yeah it, it's very funny yeah, and it's different. So thank you for bringing this up. Thank, thank you. you for that, Mansi. Thank you for that, honey. Yes, that is the energy. That is absolutely the energy. It's so different. Like Mansi said, it is so different. <coughs> yeah, Chandana, thing, I would yeah. also like to say something. Yes, like from one, one, I was feeling very itchy. Very itchy means I used to suddenly, I used to feel itchy and then suddenly it was over. Yesterday I had gone to the doctor. My mother was after me. Ja, ja, ja. So I went to the doctor. He Shweta's husband. He asked me first, what do you feel it is? I said, relief. That was the answer. And he looked at me like this. I can <laughs> say this to you. Because you know what a relief is. Because there is no rash on my body. You can check it. From one month, I've been itching and no rash on my body. If my body wants to do something. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And this is, this, is the, this is the energy that, guys, you really want to tap into. If you, see, if you see the earth, the planet is moving so fast. When we talk about change of tracks, guys, 
what if you can also start to include the planet? And like what Indu said, when you know when you have a rash or something, it's always going to leave some scar on you, right? Yeah. But when that's also not being left, it's again different. It's different on the body. It's something new. And I think Shweta's husband should become the access doctor. I like him already. <laughs> I'll tell him next time I go to. Please him. tell him he should become the access doctor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's less like. You know, this is such a beautiful space, guys. It's truly, it's such a beautiful space. There is no resistance. There's only receiving and only contribution if you allow yourself to be that for yourselves. And that's the catch. If you allow it, allow yourselves to be that for yourselves. If you can be no conflict with you, if you can be no conflict with what was and what is and what should be in the future, the past, the present, the future, everything's like a jumble right now. I mean, if you're going to try and look for what is the future, what was the past and what is the present, you're going to get lost in it. Everything is the moment right now. Now, in the moment, what is true for you? Now, in this moment, what do you know? Now, in this moment, what is my body asking for? It's literally, that is a level of being present with your body. And if you see, that's exactly what's happening on the planet with the earth right now. And we all know that we are connected with the earth, right? Yes, everybody knows that. Yeah, the earth's a part of us. We are a part of the earth. And if the earth has its own being, how much bigger than just the earth, earth structure is its being? And how much bigger than our body is our being? And what if you could just expand with the being of the earth and we could allow our being to expand with that? And more. And more. What can you now be? What can you now receive? And what can you now create as your future? And relax into that. Say, thank you very much, universe. Yes, I'll have that, please. Relax a little more. Embrace the energy, every energy that you would previously avoid. Embrace it, receive it, and be it. And now, forget about it. What if that's how easy this is? Is there any space for how, when, or why now? Right, Umesh says no, not at all. Yeah, there is none. No, Mansi, yeah, there is no space for that, guys. Stop bringing that baggage with you. Stop carrying it into this, this change of tracks this new reality. There is, no, there is no need of that crap. There never was any need of it. Our past reality was based on limitations. Our past reality was based on the rightness and the wrongness of our choices and others' choices. 
what if now what you have is new, different, so different, like some of you are going numb with it. You don't know what to do with it because you're looking at, what do I do with this? Oh my God, it's so different. It's so new. <gasps> how do I work with it? What do I do with it? You're going into the how. But if you just, what if you, what if just for 24 hours, if I could invite you to play with this energy? Whether you're changing, you're looking to change your body, whether you're looking to change your relationships, whether you're looking to change your business, your money flows, whatever. The old way will not work. Period. A big one. What should I say? It's so big that it needs to be in your living room on the wall. The old way won't work. What new way, what new ask can I have? What new way of being is now available to me that I haven't embraced? What could show up if I was willing to embrace it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, call nine shots for you, Beyonce. Very powerful me. Yes, honey. And so, Nana, it's time you embrace that love. The new normal way of being you. Yeah. And that's a lot like more than being the normal way, it's a natural way. It's a natural way of being like the plants and the animals and, you know, the nature that's the way of being is that scary or i'm going to ask you the same question you might have been asked a thousand times scary or exciting so nana yeah it is right mansi mamta yeah honey it's exciting it's very exciting it's yeah like shivering awesome awesome i also like the way you yeah. mentioned that is it is our natural way of our being and where we are yeah. trying to manipulate it with other stuff yes darling yes we're trying to make it normal mansi yeah what we are doing is we are looking at the natural way of being which is the difference of who we are and the difference of what is right now and then we are trying to twist that natural way into a normal way so we can understand it. So we can get the why, Absolutely. the when, and the how. The only reason to twist the natural into the normal is so you have answers to when, how, and why. Yeah. Like being a child, we never thought about it. They are always yeah. spontaneous. They are always doing something or the other. Even if yes. you... Like put them in one place, still they will find something to do. Yes, Yet absolutely. We are trying to get those how, why and all those bullshit yes, questions. Absolutely. It's significant. Yeah. And what if you just allowed for, for just 24 hours, what if you allowed yourself not to go there? And you allowed yourself to relax into this energy. That is so real. That is so now. This is the energy. But when you go into that sad, depressed, miserable, unhappy, all of that, you're going into trying to define this energy, which is undefinable. You cannot define it, guys. You cannot. So when you're trying to get something and you don't get it, what, what is a natural way of being? Then sad, miserable, unhappy, depressed. So what are you creating by trying to understand it? The conflict within you, the sadness, the, the need to be, you're wanting to, you're, you're wanting to, your need to understand what is happening could separate you from the magic of what is showing up. So what energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, mysteries, miracles and possibilities 
can you and your bodies be to be needless to understand what is happening and to trust everything that's showing up and everything that doesn't allow that would you all destroy and uncreate that please I trunk good bad pot pot call nine shots boys and beyonds you know this natural way of being guys you want to get what is your natural way of being is it suffering or is it joy and please be honest with yourself i know we should all say joy because that is my oh, natural please. way of being and my natural way of yeah thank you shivani but how many <laughs> of us how many of us are really really congruent with the joy being our natural way of being and i don't even know this <laughs> yeah Amrita says I can't hear you. Oh, okay. I wonder what you cannot hear. Can you hear me now? <laughs> so if your natural way of being is suffering, you're going to bring that with you multifold into this reality. What is your natural way of being? Is now the time to choose joy. is now yes. the time to recognize that you have choice yes and shivani this goes for you especially honey and goes for everybody else on the call what if you just trusted that the universe has your back and that if you have your back everything everything can be different Hello, Amrita. So, what if we played with just putting our barriers down, asking, saying yes? It's like Brendan said in the COP. Just say yes. The new way of being in this change of tracks. Say yes. I've been practicing that, frankly. I've really been practicing that since the COP. Since I heard him, the new way of being in the change of tracks is yes. I've actually been asking. relaxing into it saying yes gratitude for the universe gratitude for myself and relaxing further into it where there is no space to avoid it there is no space to avoid any energy letting it go knowing it will show up So Nana, how are things with you, honey, right now? Ah, uh, not very good. Okay. It's a very a big decision, so it's not very good. But I get what you're saying. But the resistance is a very high resistance, and I am getting what you're saying. And it's still, it's like when you have to jump off a cliff. So. Yeah. i would wish someone would just push me off it sometimes i wish someone would just push me off it you know but this you're sitting you're sitting, the middle, darling, you're sitting in the middle of lay in the mountains in the car pet tank is full and it's getting dark and you're getting anxious and you're waiting somebody will come and push your car nobody's going to come push your car <laughs> I know, but my old me would have said, "I'll face the lion. I'll face that. I'll face whoever." What comes. if you don't have to face the lion, honey? When you're okay, I want to. Okay, fine. So, Nana, I want you to get this, darling. When you're looking to face a lion, or are you looking to face the problem and change it? You've gone into problem solving. You've not gone into switching on your car, the ignition, pressing on the accelerator, and driving. You are. you've gone into problem solving you've gone into opening your car door and going out to see what the problem is where am i stuck why am i stuck any time that you you find this energy with yourself love is what's keeping you stuck and in conflict with yourself because you're looking to face the problem the problem was the past you're carrying it with you into the into this reality 
but the change of tracks when that past doesn't exist anymore. You just have to leave. Me. Yeah, this is same for me, Channa. I am kind but of maybe absorbing. Have, yeah. You have to leap. There's no one going to come and push your car for you. Shivani, Sunena, Sunena, darling. You've got to leap, honey. And trusting, 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 trusting that you will fly. I get it. What if we can all just expand right now? Just like expand, okay? Into this reality, beyond this reality, with the earth again, with the being of the earth. That's how big you are. And maybe even bigger than that. And how many elements of consciousness can you now include in your ask? How many elementals can you now include in your ask? And what different way of being can you be now that can have you actualize this right away with two trees? Right, wrong, good, bad, papa, call nine shots, boys and beyonds. Do not contract, guys. That's your natural way of being. And can we do a five and eleven to frack the insanity of our choices or bringing our past into our present? Yes. Something that doesn't exist, and we are still being insane enough to carry it with us. It's like carrying a jola full of nothing, but believing it's really heavy will make it really heavy. So, can we do a five and eleven, guys? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's get the energy. Let's frack the insanity of the choices we are making when we have a choice to be the magic. Five and eleven, 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 five and eleven. Cool. Do we have any questions? Are we good? All right. Well, looks like it's a wind up for tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chandana. And we'll see you soon. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Love you too. Bye. Thank you.